Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to this baking video. Today we're going to be making some homemade sprinkles. Since I'm going to be making them out of royal icing, the first thing we need to have is a recipe. I do have a tutorial on my channel if you want to check it out. And then I'm just going to be working over a piece of parchment paper or wax paper. Just make sure the, like, the smoothest part is on the top. And in here I was um, starting with this method, just going with no measurement whatsoever and just, you know, guiding myself by that. But then I found out that my sprinkles or just my dots, they weren't super even and I just wanted to have like, I, you know, limit or control of how big or how small my sprinkles would be. And this would be much easier if you had like a squared notebook. I didn't have one and I wasn't going to purchase one just for one paper that I need. So I just pretty much made my own. Um, just going to my paper and just putting my ruler on the top and just marking where I wanted my lines to be. Did that both on the top and the bottom part. And then just joined my lines and posted that and just to complete the squares I'm just going to go to the other side and I'm just going to mark on the top and the bottom again my lines and then at the end gather all those lines together you could print uh, paper as well but uh, for some reason I just felt like doing this by hand you just don't feel like doing the whole thing um, you know you can always print or just borrow a note, a scrap notebook, paper. And I think having a paper like this comes in handy, especially when you need like a limit or just would you want to make a bunch of figures this my size. And then once I have done that, because I don't want my uh, parchment paper to move around, I'm just going to add some tape on the corners. And I'm just going to go pretty much doing the same thing that I did before, but this time I do have a limit which are my squares so I don't want to go for this um, size of sprinkles any bigger than that and here I'm just showing you if you made a mistake or you just didn't like the way your sprinkle came out you can remove it with um, you know one of the scrap tools I do have to on my channel or you can use a toothpick as well it's pretty much up to you And I'm just going to keep on doing that with all my colors. I wanted to go for like the rainbow shades. And then I ended up doing bigger like sprinkles by using four squares instead of just one. So four squares are going to give you a sprinkle the size of the biggest uh, sprinkles that, that you can see right now. Just wait for them to dry. And then once they are dry, just remove your sprinkles carefully. And I just used a spatula. You can use a knife for this as well. So that's it for the sprinkles, uh, the DIY part. I'm just going to be sharing you, with you how I decorate my cupcakes. Here I'm just taking my whipping cream and I'm taking a um, Wilson piping bag and a piping tip number 1M. And then I'm using my cupcakes, which are vanilla cupcakes. And then I'm just going to make a small roll on the top middle part in there it's up to you if you want to like complete the whole cupcake with your swirl or just like this I'm just going to take my tweezers that I only use for baking and I'm just going to apply my sprinkles on the top it's just a fun homemade way to just um, have a few cupcakes maybe for a you know party small gathering things like that this idea comes in handy especially if you have a realizing and just you don't want to go out and just um, purchase uh, sprinkles so I'm just going to be giving you a few kind of um, decorative options for the smaller sprinkles that are bigger than the ones the mini size sprinkles that I showed before I'm just going to complete my whole cupcake and honestly, I just love the way this one looks because it looks kind of like clean, simple and fun. You can always use um, polka dotted cupcake wrappers or more just like fun stuff like that. I didn't have anything. That's why I'm using the standard white cupcake wrappers, but just have fun with it. So this is what the whole thing looks like and just go as crazy as you want with them. And remember, this is just another way of just having fun with your baking. And this is what the whole thing looks like when you start eating them. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share it. So thank you for watching. I hope you would like it. And um, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.